What's up guys, I Device Help here, and today in this video I wanted to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 10 back to iOS 9.3.3 or 9.3.2. Now a lot of you guys have upgraded to iOS 10 and realized that the operating system is a bit slow, glitchy, and gives you problems at times, and that is because this software is only intended to be deployed on devices intended for development only. So I wouldn't recommend installing iOS 10 as of yet on any daily driver device, on any main device that you use every day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade without losing any of your stuff. The only thing you lose with this method is your text messages. All your app data, all the information of your apps, all your email setups, all your setups, all your settings, and including all your iCloud settings and photos, you get to keep without having to restore everything back. Again, only text messages you will lose with this method. Now, in the links down below, I'll link you guys to this website here, which allows you to download the firmware that you want to downgrade to. So if I go ahead and select a my device from the device list here, I have an iPhone 6S Plus, which is the device I want to downgrade from iOS 10 to iOS 9.3.2. So here's the iPhone list and there it is iPhone 6s plus now for iPhone 5s and iPhone 5 and 5c there's two models so do your research first before you download the firmware check if yours is a GSM or global you can google that depending on your carrier and it'll tell you if it's GSM or global only iPhone 5 5c and 5s now on the iPhone 6s plus which is mine I'm gonna go and select my device of course you'll select yours here on the iOS version as you can see Downgrading can get a little tricky. You're only capable of downgrading to the software that's currently being signed. At this point, as of the filming of this video, iOS 10, iOS 9.3.3, and 9.3.2 are being signed. And this website helps by highlighting in green which firmwares you can downgrade to. Once you select the firmware you want to downgrade to, click download. Once you download the firmware, I recommend you save it to your desktop. There it is mine, iOS 9.3.2 and you want to go ahead and launch iTunes on your computer. Now this works the same on both Windows and Macs. You want to go ahead and connect your device via the USB cable. And up top here on iTunes, go ahead and select a your device. Once you select a your device, you want to go ahead and head on over. You have two buttons here, restore and check for updates. What we're going to do, I'm going to put my iPhone down here for a few seconds. What you want to do is hold down the shift key on Windows and click on the check for updates together, okay, simultaneously. On Mac, you want to hold down the Option key and click on the Check for Update button. This is going to give you this pop-up window which will allow you to restore to any firmware using iTunes that's currently being signed. Again, iOS 10, 9.3.3, and 9.3.2 at this moment. So I'm going to select 9.3.2 and downgrade my device using the Update option. And I know it sounds a little weird that we're using the Update to downgrade, but that's just how it works. In order for you not to lose any of your information on your device, let me show you here my photos. As you can see, here are some of my pictures on the device. And when we come back, I'll show you the pictures again so you see that all that information was retained. And here are the folders with some of my apps. I'm going to show you that when we come back as well. Let me go ahead and wait for iTunes to complete restoring this iPhone, and I'll be right back. All right, so iTunes is almost done. We're about halfway through. This process can take up to 10 minutes, so you have to be really patient, guys. All right, so it looks like we're at the final stages of the downgrade. All right, so once iTunes pops up, go ahead and enter your passcode and hit this retry so iTunes can sync with your device and your device is going to tell you that you have a carrier update if you do go ahead and do the carrier update click OK and you're set to go now your iPhone is back to normal with all your stuff alright so at this point we're done with the computer part once you see the lock screen you can disconnect your device unlock it enter your passcode and we're down with iOS 9 now so here it is iOS 10 down to iOS 9.3.2 there it is I'm going to zoom into that focus there it is now you may get prompted to enter the password for your email account after you restore, but your email settings and everything is going to be in place and all your photos, like I mentioned, will stay there. So you can see there are all, all my pictures that I had before I restored my device. There they are. And every app setting is set and all my folders and all my apps are still on my device as well. There you guys have it. That about brings it into this video. This is how you downgrade without losing any of your information. Again, the only thing you'll lose is your text messages, but here is the best way you can go about downgrading your device from iOS 10 to iOS 9.3.3 or 9.3.2. If you enjoy the video, like always, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Make sure to stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.